I'm um, I'm recording this whilst I can. Um, I because I've had some problems recently, but uh, we'll go into that uh, in just a second. But right now, it's time for Mr. Stephen to have a dabble. Yes, welcome once again to another edition of Minecraft with Mr. Stephen having a dabble. Um, not, not much, a lot's changed, to be fair. An awful lot has changed. Um, firstly, you'll notice in the background uh, there, on, on the top right of your screen, um, I've got a, a, a new abstract piece of art in my room. That's by uh, Verity Smith, who's a very good friend of mine. Uh, and she gave it to, to me one Christmas. Um, and I've just reframed it, and I've put it on my wall because I thought it would be a nice thing. So I'm trying to find a frame um, that's better for the Casablanca poster because it's not quite working where it is. I think it needs to be have a slightly smaller border, uh, maybe a border that's about the same size as the image, you know. Um, however, you know, I, that, that surrounds what we're doing. I didn't think I'd be able to make any more videos for you because I've been having a terrible time at the moment actually trying um, to get XSplit and Minecraft working together. Uh, I, I've turned one on and, and it's just the frame rate for both would drop drastically. I mean really, really drastically um however i think i've got it working at the moment um so without further ado we'll uh, jump into the game because this first uh, bit of what i want to show you today and i do realize that I mean you're right okay we're finishing there um i've been i've been adding the roof and the stuff to the i oh, will we'll go outside and show you because it's easier uh but there's so much to do um I've been continuing with the bridge, and I've done a lot more because I didn't, as I said, I didn't know if I'd be able to make any more videos anyway, so um, I've just kind of kept going with the projects when I had some time to do some Minecraft, um, which means that I've got these uh, three, four, five, I can't count, uh, ovens running here, and they're actually making glass for me because uh, I'm going to need that glass a bit later on. Uh, also, with the chickens, I've changed the way the chickens work a little bit. Oh, we've got an ender portal now. Had to go into the nether. Um, we've got more of this stuff. I want to have some buckets in a second and empty that all out. Uh, we've got chickens! We've got loud chickens down here. Some of them have got hats. Look, there's a Kyle. It's a South Park hat over there. Um, and we've got a um, golden... It's very loud down here. We've got, we've got a diamond chest here. As you see, it's got 33 cooked chicken and some raw chicken and 45 feathers in. We'll come back to that uh, on a different video. Right now, it's sleep time. It's I, I've missed the day because it was full of stuff. Uh, okay. So, um, we're going to go out and have a quick look at the um, bridge and what I've been doing with the bridge. Because uh, that's nearly finished now. Uh, so one thing I did do, and we'll be able to see this in a second, uh, is make tons and tons of glass blocks and things like that. Those have still got a couple of days worth of growth. That's fine. You see, you notice what I've done is I put a glass surround on this. Uh, this thing here because what I didn't want was stuff spawning on there and if you if I press F7 now you can see that's lit up well enough so that the uh, so that nothing should spawn on the track inside there because the only kind of way out uh, is at either end and of course one of those ends goes straight into my base um, I just noticed we're going to need uh, oh, have I brought any with me? I haven't. We're going to need some here as well because the, actually one of the issues there is right there, look, you see? Um, right on there. But, um, yep, yeah, so that's got a covering now and we've got down here, we've got a bit of, we've got some upside down stairs to support it. Going along here, same thing. Underneath, of course, in the tunnel, but no problem at all. You've got uh, plenty of light, and now you've got these blocks coming out here. And obviously, I haven't put any um, 
torches on here yet because this is what I was still working on. Uh, but the idea is you'll come all the way down here. Of course, right now I'm on the roof, but you'll you'll, you'll be on the track like this. Um, and yeah, it can, all the way around here, all nice and safe. That's the idea. And the other thing, if I just take this off, uh, the other thing that I've done is if I go into the chunks, you'll see I've I've um, claimed. Uh, the chunks around this area um, so that uh, people can't come in and steal stuff that's the idea uh, or they can't come in and the I actually I don't want people to be able to raid raid <coughs> sorry I don't want people to be able to use my railway if and this is the big thing uh, if they're not me, because the only where the only place this part of the railway goes is directly into my house, and that's not a good good look for anyone. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing right now. I've turned myself around somehow. Um, you see what the the arc underneath is looking like. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm a, a little bit unsure on some of these things but no generally I'm pretty happy with um, with what we're doing here um, I'm going to leave a little bit of a let me see here look we're gonna want that that um, and then we just sort of build this up um, I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, bits where trees and things are kind of coming into the um, the glass bit as a as a thing because I think it looks quite nice. I'm I'm pretty excited about this whole process actually. Um, can't have one there. That's right for there, but we want something that's there. I'm going to destroy that glass block. That's probably a bad thing to do, but never mind. Um, and then we can move up here. And really, all I'm doing really is just I'm making a continuation of the bridge that we started before. Um, but I don't think I've explained this very well. <laughs> I think, yeah, um, in particular, I've explained it very badly, I think, in this case. You want to make sure if you're doing this that any blocks that go down aren't going to foil the minecart as you're going along. So it's always a good idea just to check as you're doing it. Now here, I think we're fine because uh, we've already got that one there, and then we've got that one there. Um, oops. I'm very aware that I'm wasting these glass blocks, and that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh uh, god, I've done it again. <laughs> no, you've got to... And again, another one. <laughs> I'm terrible at this, honestly. Um, you have to remember, of course, that... Um, uh, I can't remember. I, d I don't know what you have to remember, but it's very important. I mean, you should really remember it. Uh, it, it's really incredibly important. If you don't remember it, then the chances are you'll die horribly. So what we got here is that we're just we're continuing on with the thing that we have going over the track, but we're just we're leaving places for um, the the outside to come in almost the outside to be um, a part of the whole thing. 
so that it's not just as generic as uh, you think it might be. That's wrong. That's where we want to do. And where we get to things like this, look, we'll we'll go up three because this this block here still needs to be um, up there. But then we can come down to two. Easier said than done. But actually, that isn't bad. Um, and then when we're, we're traveling down here, look, we're not foiled by this block as you as you travel along. Uh, but it does give us plenty of space to sort of just uh, expand what we're doing here, you'll see. And we've used up all of our goodwill and all of our blocks of stuff. So let's make our way down the mountain again. Um, very aware all of these trees <laughs> actually only exist. Yeah, right. Okay, I might have to get rid of some of these trees because now we're going to make deforest station, and that's going to be expanded out over this way. And if you see where I am, which is kind of here, where the wilderness is, is over here. You see, I've got plenty of space where I can build in my little bit to put in here. Um, and then have a, a a sort of separate station, which is for everybody in the game, so that we're all connected to the same uh, railway line, in essence. So, let's climb up here, Jack, and don't be crying. I can go just as fast with two. I'm not sure that's true. I'm not sure I go that fast on my own, actually. Um, I don't know how to get... I can't, obviously, I can't climb a wall. This is, um... I am not Spider-Man. I'm Batman. No, I... No, seriously. No, because now... Right. Now, obviously, I like going up the other side of this much better than I do this one. So... Let's go and do that. You notice how much better my sound is today, my sound quality? It's because I haven't got my fan on, you see. Fans are terrible things for sound. You've got to turn them off if you want decent audio. Okay, so these things here, they still have a bit of growing to go. Uh, we'll leave it another day. We'll go and just check on our chickens, who should be doing alright. They're doing all right. Look, uh, we've got 40 of these now, and I will explain how this works in t uh, probably t in tomorrow's uh, video. Um, but until then, it's night time, so I'll grab some food. Have some food. Put away the food. And in here, we've got a few more blocks uh, that we can use. I'm hoping, actually, between all of these things, that will be enough. It's sometimes it's tricky to tell. 26 blocks isn't very much when it comes to sort of some of the structures and things that we've been building. My ender portal's being a bit of an arse. I could turn it off, but I don't know. I I really wanted the whole ender thing. I've gone the wrong way. I can I can go down using my um, minecart now. You see, no one's going to take it away. Um, I really wanted the first trip into the into the Nether. Uh, to be 
on video because it's quite funny. You die a lot, you know. Um, here we go down the mountain. These are all the new bits that I've done. So that's all the work that I've done today on this. And as we turn lots of corners, it's all working. We're not stuck by anything. It's all good. It's all good. Um, we want to have a space here where we can get in and out of your minecart. So this will uh, end up being here like so. And this goes along here. And oh yeah, we need to fill these in as well. Uh, that goes up to there, and there's one more there. Now in theory, at this point, uh, we can start moving down to a different thing. Now there's a zombie around somewhere. I don't. I think it might be underground because I can't see him. Okay, so now we're in the wilderness. Um, we want to. I'm going to just put a bit of sand down there because uh, I've done that wrong. I think that needs to be there, and I, I'm never too sure about that bit. I have to admit. Um, and we're really close to finishing this. Look, we need three or four more blocks and then we're done um, and then we can go and have a look at torches and things and actually light the thing up um, okay so let's head back upstairs so much easier louder admittedly but it's so much easier cl than climbing a mountain just to sit and have a have a little journey in your own personal minecart, isn't that fun? Um, I think in future I'm going to do fewer twists and turns because twists and turns don't quite work the same way with a minecart. But you know, works for me. Uh, right, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Sand. We need sand. We've got, we've got plenty of sand actually. Look, um, I've only got four. Oh no, no, I've got sixty-four. Right, let's. Stick my 64 in there, stick that in there, and we're done. We'll just wait for that to happen, and it'll say it's um, three minutes, something like that. Which is a horrible time to wait when you're, when you're waiting on stuff. So let's go and have a quick look at the chickens. And actually, what, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the sound for the game, which I don't know if you were getting through... Um, anyway, but I was, and it was just as loud as hell. Um, so this is what I've done with the chickens, which I thought might be interesting. First of all, uh, the chickens, I've grown my chickens a, a, a lot. Um, I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to murder this one because I want to unlock that hat. And again, I'm, I'm not going to kill many of the chickens because I want them. They they are good. I see I've got a Lego man had there as well um, but you can see what they're standing on now are hoppers and a hopper is a thing that will collect something as it is expelled out of the well in this case out of the end of a chicken's arse um, and so what we're doing is we as they expel their eggs they we're putting them into these hoppers um, and, and I've got some hatches here so that you can kind of see what we're doing um, so down here are all the hoppers and they feed into this, which is a dispenser. And once the dispenser has something in it, this comparator, and yes, we're, we're going into redstone now, um, takes, and you can see it's just happened then, that flash there, was it happening? Uh, so we, we can probably wait for a bit and you see an egg is going into there and then it's being dispensed out. Um, so the comparator's going into a repeater, that just boosts the signal. And then the signal from the repeater is going around here into uh, this second repeater, which is powering this block, which is in turn powering the dispenser to actually dispense. Um, similar, uh, similarly to that, there's another line of redstone going around the outside back to the redstone comparator which is then 
sort of making a, a a clock circuit almost which is saying look if there is still something in here you want to trigger this action again um, now what happens then is that as the dispenser fires the egg out that's like me in previous videos going oh well let's just throw these eggs and hopefully some chickens will form so in some of these eggs that come come out we are having chickens formed and here we've got our chickens our little baby chickens growing up now they're standing on a half slab and the slab above them is lava so when they grow to a certain well to adulthood when their avatar changes to adulthood they actually get cooked well they either die or they lose their feathers or they actually get cooked and fall underneath here where we've got some hoppers again and the hoppers take it round into um the other side now i don't know what i can and can't show you the other side the other side there you see we've got some droppers and the same circuit that we're using here uh, is being used with all of those droppers uh, and we'll see this happening uh, if we go around here and uh, I take this away and go right the way back down over here so here we've got a dropper you see something goes into that dropper redstone signal goes out and it powers not the block next to the dropper but the block one above it and and what that means is uh, that not only is the block above it working but the dropper below it is powered as well at the same time the same thing happens it shoots that up into the next circuit which does the same thing and then into the next circuit which is powering the diamond chest and of course the time chest chest powers the dropper underneath it which is there um, and when that drop is powered the the stuff that's been left in there goes up into the diamond chest which is how we've got this cooked chicken and this raw chicken and the feathers in there uh, that just happens automatically now you have to have loaded chunks you you know you have to have a um, a what am I talking about um, you have to have this working all the time so I basically I I have to be in game and at this location uh, for these to be sort of continually pulling chickens out of their bottoms and making them die horribly um, but it's entirely possible it's easy enough to do um and and yeah that's that's given me basically free food so i don't have to worry about food i've got this chicken farm here you see i've got some coke things and i need to get rid of all of that um all of that oil which is a problem because suddenly i don't have 16 buckets i had to get a lava bucket um when i was filling in the uh chicken bits and actually because because you need stuff from the nether in order to create steel in this particular game i actually had to light the portal in a different way as well and that was by having a lava down there and then wooden bricks above it um and so yeah that was that was the sort of the last that i did really um okay so let's put these in here and then one at a time we can take them out what i suppose i could do with is some easy way of using these buckets this is the kind of the, the basic thing because what i'm doing with the creosote creosote or kerosene sorry uh creosote yeah there we go is using them with these and i'm making the bed for um for rail track because i think i'm going to be using a lot of rail tracks so it makes sense but of course um that's not very efficient
this is how that works. You see all the time we are using up wood. Um, really just to get rid of the byproduct of making coke coal which isn't bad in it in and of itself we we need to be able to do that um we'll put those away again uh but it does mean that we've we've got to just keep collecting the wood we've got to keep doing stuff with that wood uh not always the easiest thing to do and of course because this doesn't stack i can't put a stack of them in there at once and there's very few things that don't stack in this game um a lot of stuff that would normally not stack stacks um just a case of having to figure out which one is which it's night time so i'll just nip to bed quickly and then we'll empty out some more of this creosote it's all very important stuff and we're gonna have to say goodbye um in just a moment um there we go uh but i i did want to show you those bits i did want to show you kind of what you know what we're doing um with all of this so that you can get an idea of where we're going so i'm going to continue emptying all of this stuff um and that's today's video obviously a lot to talk about uh, but until next time thanks very much for coming along it's been absolutely wonderful having you and hopefully everything will go well and i will see you on tomorrow's video bye folks Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. We love having you around and we love hearing from you. Also, check out the other videos on this channel. It's Minecraft on Mondays, the Stephen and Joe Gaming Show on Wednesdays and our playthrough videos on a Friday. You can also find me over on Twitch at Mr. Underscore Stephen. Monday from 7 till 9 with Battle Cattle UK and Tuesdays playing Rocket League again from 7 till 9. If that's still not enough of me for you, head on over to Twitter at Steve underscore Meller to join in the conversation. That's me signing off. Until next time, folks, good night.